Hello, hello, hello! You are turning into another uh, episode of the Wonder Kid Show. Listen, Rashad Bam has been reinstated. Oh, yeah! Oh, <laughs> oh, hallelujah! Oh, On a Sunday, <laughs> prayer works. If you don't do it, you should try it. I'm telling y'all, man, I'm happy. What a beautiful Sunday it is. I am a great mood. Hit up my phone. I was going to put out a video at 3 because I've been trying to keep on the schedule so you guys know. Video out between 3 and 4 and the next one between, you know, 8 and 9. And I was with my family and I'm like, you know what? I got, I know what I want to do the video on, but let me just wait a little bit. I want to spend some more, have some more family time. And God was just like, you know, I just need some family time. You know, grandparents, sister, the whole nine. And then God makes this happen. <laughs> God is good. One more time. Hallelujah. Praise him. <laughs> yeah. God's good. <laughs> and to all the demons that are watching, get out the way. Bayman's coming through. Him and the crew, they be swagging on the roof. Whoa! I'm feeling good. So, it has come out that Rashad Bateman has been reinstated off of the did not report list. This is great. This is good news. Now, mind you, I've already said I did not have him starting the regular season normally um, for, you know, for this foreseeable future. I did not see him starting out the first one or two games. I thought they were going to take it easy with him. Reason why is because there's been reports that have came out that he did not take to the treatment the way that they thought he would. And look, everybody heals different. A lot of people get frustrated with, oh, you're an athlete, heal, 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 we need you. It's like everybody heals differently. <laughs> like everyone saw how quickly uh, and how great Marquise, you know, Hollywood, you know, um, healed from his LeFranc, and everyone's like, oh, everyone heals from it like that. No. Do y'all remember... When Adrian Peterson tore his ACL and he was back in like six months and everyone's like, oh, 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 modern medicine. No, that's also freak of athlete, freak of nature level people. And that's what I'm saying. And I'm not, like I said before, they, I want Bateman to be good and well off simply because I want that brother to get paid. I, I want all these guys to make um, enough money to support themselves and family. If I'm naive for believing that, I am sorry. But I don't care. That's the way I believe. That's what I think. That's how I carry myself. You know, a lot of times people don't seem to recognize that, you know, they only have a certain amount of time to make this money. Everyone say, oh, you're making more than all these other people. You make $800,000 for the year. Factor in taxes. Factor in taxes. Then on top of it, they might only play five or six years. You still got to pay mortgage. You still got to buy a house. You still got to buy a car. You still got, like, everything, like, life happens. So I, if I have in my way, I would love, these guys really do kill themselves to be out there on the field. Football, my God, like, some of these guys, th their bodies after the game be absolutely torn up. So I want them to get what they can, and I want Bateman too also. So that might be a little naive of me, but whatever, call me naive. <laughs> Don't call me nitro, call me ni nitro. <laughs> Naive troll. <laughs> but no, I, this is very good news. I'm happy to hear it. And not just from a fan's perspective, but from just a person's perspective. You know, you know this guy wasn't injured any other time in his career. He comes to the Ravens, he gets injured twice. And it's like, man, you know? So we changed up, um, you know, Frank and Saunders from the team. <laughs> Frank the Saunders. From the team and we're hoping that things get better but all these guys are coming off injury a lot of them you're hearing a whole list and plethora of guys still trying to get back get back to 100 percent, and i believe that they're going to you know the ravens are taking their time to make sure that everybody's back and everybody's healthy so I, i'm good with that like i said before i want him to get if, if, if i didn't mind what he'd be back probably week four I think if he came back week three or four, he would still get a thousand yards. He'd still be on pace to probably get a thousand yards for the season, and he would be able to get paid. They pick up the fifth year option, then he can have a real breakout season. Then he would get paid. So that's what I'm hoping for. You know what I mean? And I hope that man can is well enough to continue his profession. Because once again, I try to tell this to people. People do not keep things in context. They're like, "Oh, your point nine nine percent of humans do even play the game and stuff like that." The average NFL 
career is two and a half years. That's it. We're all for the hoopla that you hear at draft time, right? Most of those guys don't make it past uh, 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 three years. Most of them are cut off before then. The average is 2.5. And think about how many guys that we've seen are at 10 years, 12 years. They're, it, they're anomalies. They're, they're the 1% of the one percenters. You get where I'm coming from? So shout out to Bate. I'm hoping that that man heals and has a career, a, a beautiful, great career here in Baltimore. I truly do believe he has a Stefan Diggs level type of play. I think that he has the speed. I think he's actually faster than Diggs. I think straight line speed. I think that um, Bateman is faster than Diggs, and I I think that you know if he if his route running is immaculate, so if he could just you know stay healthy, stay on the field, I think magic can happen, and I would love for that magic to happen in Baltimore, and I and I want him to go down as a Baltimore great. Once again, I would love. Imagine if OBJ retire because eventually you know OBJ is going to retire, and he retires. And you got Bateman and Zay, both in their prime, on the outside. And you're still, and even if they move off of, which I don't, I mean, it's a possibility. But even if they did move off of like a Mark Andrews, you got Likely, you got Kolar in the wings. Imagine that core. And at the beginning, you'll still, if, if Bateman goes off, you have him, Mark, Zay. Like, come on now, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm just, this is great news. I'm, I'm dead serious. I'm coming back. I'm, I'm coming from my family eating. We had some turkey, smoked turkey to be exact. Some white rice, some vegetables, steamed broccoli, steamed carrot, steamed squash. And you have that. Say your grace. Amen. And then this comes out. God is good. <laughs> Shout outs to Bateman and Bateman's camp. I'm happy for that brother. Hopefully, you know, he can come back 100,000% healthy and, you know, help us to a Super Bowl. And just to let you guys know this too, um, that's another reason. If we win the Super Bowl, most of these guys are getting pissy. <laughs> if it's not on the field, it's off the field. So that's why, and that's another reason why I would love for us to win the Super Bowl. Not just to say, oh, we got the Super Bowl, but these guys get, you know, they, they, they make more money. And, and everyone's like, oh, why do you want them to make more money? I'm happy when other people do well. I'm actually joyous by it. It puts a smile on my face. It really does. So, you know, <laughs> I mean, it, sometimes it breaks up the team because you can't pay everybody. But imagine, I said this about Patrick Queen. I said, if we win the Super Bowl, he's probably not going to come back to us. Because they're gonna, someone's going to offer him big time money. But guess what? He would have left a Super Bowl winner. So we it would have killed one one stone kill five birds. You feel me? Players get paid. Us as the fans get the bragging rights. The players get the bragging rights. We got the Lombardi in Baltimore. Like, come on now, bro. And imagine us sitting there with everybody having to eat crow. No pun intended. So that's what I'm saying, bro. But shout outs to the Baltimore. Shout out to Bateman and Bateman's camp. This is amazing news on a Sunday. I am actually truly happy about hearing about this, and you should be too. Holla at your boy. And if you are sad or mad that he's been reinstated, oh. watch how the hand moves fast. Oh, oh yeah, Holy Ghost film. Oh. Water baptized. Oh. Jesus is mine. One more slap and you'll be running for your life. And real Christians know that song. <laughs> but that's another episode of the Wonderkin Show. Thank you all for watching. You know how we get down. We have fun and we laugh. But everything we talk about is rooted in what? Facts and truth. Please do remember, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. You know I love the comments. Just be respectful, please. That's literally all I ask. And if you would like to donate to this channel, bottom of the screen is a QR code. QR codes to a cash app. Cash app located in the description of every video that we do. And the name of it is Money Sign The Wonder Can Show. Last but not least, the Patreon. You want more content? You want more of moi? You want more of everything that The Wonder Can Show can give? That's how you do it. Three tiers on the Patreon. Go give it a look. It's certainly worth it. I'm telling y'all. Give it a look and let me know what y'all think, all right? But once again, this is The Wonder Can Show. The show's not just signing off. And as always, you guys know my slogan. Peace. And I am out of here. <laughs> yeah.